Hello my fellow Guppy nerds, welcome back to another video and this one's gonna be proper nerdy. Those of you who are following my channel for a little while know that I've spent some time breeding bluegrass guppies and I've made a video with everything important about them and I'm gonna link that video in the description below. Today we're gonna go through all the important details and analytics that I found out during my breeding project so without any further ado guys, let's jump right into it. Bluegrass is one of the most traditional strains of fancy guppies, however, it's also one of the most difficult to maintain. I'm very often receiving questions why they are so difficult to maintain, and in today's video you will clearly see the answer why. Today I'll cover the water parameters these fish were kept in, amount of fry I've collected, mortality rate, total adults raised, male to female percentage ratio of adults, and the most important statistic, percentage ratio of bluegrass, redgrass and Asian blau males appearing in the drops. So starting with water parameters, guppies thrive in hard alkaline water. We all know 7.0 pH is neutral water, whatever value under 7 is acidic, whatever over is alkaline. My water has pH value of 7.5 meaning that it's alkaline water, what's perfect for guppy breeding. Next important value is water hardness, and once again, general hardness of my tap water is around 10, what's great for guppy breeding. Now temperature was a little bit lower than ideal, I bred these guppies in my room temperature that's around 21 degrees Celsius, what equals approximately 70 degrees Fahrenheit, causing that their growth was significantly slower, however it should increase their lifespan. Moving on to mortality rate, I've collected and separated 125 babies from two pairs of bluegrass guppies in their five drops. From these I've grown 91 adult fish and I've called 10 fish for reasons like body defects, missing fins, etc. Simply genetic defects that are important to select out from the fry as soon as observed. Those of you who follow my channel for a little while know that I send my low quality guppies to my friend as a food for his Oscars. Rather than killing them, this way they serve better purpose. So 125 fry collected, 91 adults fish grown up and 10 fish called in a process give us 19.2% mortality rate of the fry. Now this may seem like quite a high number but some fry are super delicate and you simply will lose some in the process. I only remember netting out maybe 3 or 4 that baby fish. However, you need to remember that my tanks are heavily populated with Malaysian trumpet snails and these snails will take care of that fish in a couple of hours. Another ratio we'll discuss is the amount of males and females. Now I've heard rumors that water temperature can actually affect this ratio and that in cooler water you'll have more males in drops. From 91 adults that we have raised is 49 females and 42 males giving us the ratio of 53.8% females to 46.2% males. Now whether this was somehow affected by temperature I cannot prove, however my new breeding project with 10 best pairs that I've separated is in heated aquarium with much higher temperature, so in couple of months we can compare the results that we're gonna see in the future with these ones and either prove or disprove this hypothesis. Now let's jump to the ratio that I'm most excited to share with you guys, ratio of males coloration. Now first of all it's important to remind that these males were all siblings born to blue grass parents. We have raised 42 males of which 23 were red grass, 17 were blue grass and 2 were Asian blau, giving us the ratio of 54.8% red grass males, 40.4% of blue grass and 4.8% of Asian blau. And here you have the answer why is this strain so difficult to maintain. If we would just keep all these males together in the colony, the gene pool would be much weaker as also red grass and Asian blau would get to breed and the ratio of blue grass males in future drops would rapidly decrease, what's definitely not wanted. Now this is only my hypothesis and it's not proven yet, but I'll definitely try to prove this hypothesis by similar quantitative research in the future. So you may ask, what's the future of this breeding project? 
I've kept 10 best bluegrass pears in a colony that you can see on a video. I'll be collecting fry to separate aquarium and we'll try to repeat this exact same project so we can compare the results in the future. Red grass and Asian blau males with the rest of females were both by one of my subscribers to the outdoors 400 liters tub and I'm also very excited to see the results of this project as we can again measure into details what happens if you only breed red grass males further so you have definitely a lot to look for in the future videos. Thank you very much guys for watching. I really appreciate every single one of you who made it this far. Projects like this take quite some time, so please help me spread the video around, show it some love, hit it with a like and consider subscribing. It's absolutely free and more videos like this are gonna come. So one more time guys, thank you very much for watching. You're absolutely amazing and I hope to see you in that next video.